And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. When we last left off, um, we pretty, pretty much looted this place, place completely um, and we're about to leave. Um, let me just check whether there were any things that we were leaving behind. Um, I think we can yeah, steal some more of this ammunition, I can then dump it on off on my followers. Um, okay, let's yeah, dump this off at uh, Tichu, which so far has proven to be quite an obstacle, um, at least here in the glow. Okay, he can carry this. Um, yeah, just. Um, just finished recording two videos for my System Shock Let's Play, um, which I actually decided to do um, because I wasn't was quite a little bit unsure whether I was uh, going to do this Let's Play. Let's Play because um, this game has the um, the little inconvenient. Uh, property that um, the sound levels are very uneven and what the f okay apparently Ian um, is somewhere in this rock in the solid rock okay um, I hope he doesn't stay there anyway um, yeah system shock 2 um, quite a scary game um, normally I, yeah, I, well I, I've never done a horror game, um, and I think I also shouldn't do a horror game, a let's play a horror game, um, because so the problem is when uh, I play a game that's as scary as System Shock 2, um, yeah, I will be in a very uncomfortable emotional state which will affect yeah um, obviously or well maybe not obviously but will affect the way I, um, uh, will affect the let's play in an active way okay. mm. Ah, there was another disc that we haven't yet picked up. Okay, I think that's that was the last bit that we can uh, that we can get from here. Okay, let's leave then, um, hoping that Ian will still be with us. Um, It was this. I actually forgot whether this elevator was secured. Um, okay, we will just to be the safe side try to use the. Uh, I guess red key card. Uh, then we'll try the yellow key card. Okay, let's just use the. Ah, yeah, this elevator. Um, it was only, um, I mean, we had to use the main power. Okay. Let's reactivate the main power, I mean the primary power, and leave. Hoping that we won't, and we got electrocuted. Uh, because this elevator is in fact protected by um, yeah, a passcode or something like that, so we... Ah, it was the, the blue thingy that we use. Okay, um... I think we're actually on... Ele on yeah, we're, we are on floor... F on the fifth floor, so we... 
probably want to go to those. I think, yeah, we went here from the 6th, so on the 6th there should be a means to deactivate the main power. Which we really should do, because otherwise, I think there were some, um, there were sentry bots on the other levels also. Okay, we should now be safe. Hopefully, okay. Um, so that was probably the red key card. Um, I call it the key card. Well, that's because it probably, well, it is a key card. Um, okay, we can go directly to the third floor and then we change and then. Um, by the way, I should probably uh, check our radiation level. Severely wounded. Um, hmm. Yeah, these sentry bots, in fact, uh, would have been quite a pain to deal with. So it's good that we. Um, and of course, I ran run into a trap. It's good that we dealt with. I mean, didn't have to deal with these. Um, let's heal ourselves. Where are our... We don't have a lot of... Um, um, I, wanted, I wanted to call them met hypos just now, but the, the, that's what they are called in System Shock 2. Um, Stimpaks. Yeah, Stimpaks. Don't have an awful lot of stimpacks, actually. Wait, okay. Uh, why doesn't this do anything? This is not protected by. It's not protected by an electric field for some reason. Um, and. Ah, there's the exit. Um, and we just leave. Leave the glow and hope that we don't die of radioactive poisoning. Um, so let's leave. Um, let's go back to this place, which is the hub, I think. And yeah, we have run into an unpleasant encounter. Um, at least with better armor now. Okay. Um, let's go for the hat. Hmm. One more. Let's go for the eyes. And it's dead. End of turn. Um... I should have checked whether our companions are actually uh, how badly they are. I mean, how their health is actually. I don't want don't want them to die. Even Tissue, um, at least until he's done his duty and carried carried all this loot to the hub. Okay, sixteen. We got a critical hit there, and, and it's dead. Um, and we even gained some little bit of experience points for that. And yeah, luckily Eo, I mean Ian, um, not Eo, also reappeared from this other wall. Um, yeah, I wanted to check our... We look almost dead. Um, hmm. I wonder whether this is because we are on 18 hit points or whether we are poisoned, severely wounded. Hmm. Okay, what about you? Unhurt? 
Severely wounded. Okay, let's let's heal him. Let us make sure he does not die. Maybe he has actually run out of run out of med kits. We should check whether that's the case. Um, no, he has not. Um, just didn't heal himself. And dog meat is also severely wounded. That means we will provide him with. I mean, well, we will use two stim packs on him. Okay, he's wounded now. Well, actually, um, wounds will heal themselves if you just wait long enough. So. We don't really have to waste these stim packs. Um, we just have to cross our fingers and hope that we will not run into another combat situation. Though, um, apparently, we died of radioactive poisoning. Um, either this or this was a bug. Hmm, that was very strange. Um, well, there's only one thing that we can do. We have to reload, of course. Uh, which means... Doing all this inventory management again. Okay. Um... Let's drop off all this loot again. So the only really important thing that we, I have to rem remember to pick up um, are actually these discs. Those are... What? What? Hmm. Maybe he just can't carry that. Okay, that's that's awfully strange. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, we, the only the only really important thing are these hollow discs containing plot relevant details, which not only provide you with um, the plot but also your character with the plot, meaning that this will influence the options that you will have in the game. So it's not just important for your own satisfaction, but also because it changes how the game works. Um, I mean, not, not how the game works, but the possibilities that are provided to you within the game. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Uh, Okay, we'll get these guns and then, so it was, yeah, this locker and then we just have to re-enable the power. Um, get to level number six, disable the primary power and then we're basically out of here. So the, yeah, the computer was there. Um, I hope that the reason why we died was because we, um, it was simply the radioactive poisoning. I hope it wasn't just a game-breaking bug, which, and I forgot to disarm the electric field, because why not? If it would be a game-breaking bug, um, yeah. This could potentially just be the end of this let's play. Because I don't... I'm not sure I could, would actually be able to recover from that. Um, I mean, it cert would certainly be possible in theory, but I'm not sure whether I would... Could actually manage to do to do that. 
It was the red key card. Yes, okay. Um, so level three then, yes. Um, and the other elevator was there, which did not was not protected by an electric field. But there were some traps. And since we'll probably run um, into another combat, we should we could um, just as well heal right now. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so. Hmm. Okay, we have been... Yeah, we are poisoned. Um, so, we should... Um, use some red away. Um, how can I actually see my radiation level? Uh... Character. Hmm. Status. Um, map. Okay. I don't know. Well, how do I check my radiation level? Um. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Let's just. Use another one, I suppose. Um, um, and use these pills. And nothing happens. Okay, that's that is not good. Um, Ah, and these, it's these floaters. Oh, um, well, we have to heal. At least one time. Okay. Um, yeah, this is bad. Yeah, four hit points. This is bad. Um, hmm. Okay, one of them is down. Oh. Well, they're not dead. Um, yeah. Oh, this could, this could end very badly. Um, hmm. Okay, how far away? Okay, one. Ah, out of range. Um, Okay, another one down. And I... Um... Hmm. Hmm, okay, did, did some good damage there. Um... And it's dead. Whew. Um... 
Okay, how are severely wounded? Um, severely wounded and severely wounded. And the problem is that we actually can't... No, we actually can rest at this place. Um, so, the, so the only problem is that I'm, I'm not sure whether we are actually yet... We are, whether we are actually still radiated. Oh, I'm a... I'm an... I'm an idiot. Of course... Of course, you use the Geiger counter. Well, actually, you don't use the Geiger counter to measure your radiation doses. Ah. Um, rather, it measures, well, radioacti radioactivity of your body, which <laughs> would imply that we are contaminated with radioactive particles. Um, let's use all these. 940 rats. Mm. Okay, this is a race. This is a race against time. Um. <sighs> okay, I will. I will make a save. Um. Um. Just in case we should, it should happen that we should run there. Not even the carrion eaters are interested yeah. in your radiated corpse. I was about to say, in case we run into another fight, but the problem really does not seem to be us running into any fights, but rather us dying of radiation. Well, we have... Okay, I think we just need to wait here uh, and hope that we do have enough... Stim packs. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's try a one hour interval. Hmm, that's very strange. I mean, I sort of get the impression that the reason why we keep on dying is not the radiation, but it is actually a bug. Because if it was the radiation, then well, we should lose some health points, um, but we just keep losing radiation levels, and then... Hmm. Okay, so it, it did say why we died, uh, but it was disappeared too quickly from poison sickness. So it said that we have died from poison sickness. Um, uh, can we actually heal ourselves? Um, hmm. So would this be the doctor skill or the first aid skill? Hmm. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, 
Hmm. The problem is, it, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that we are actually poisoned, so. Oh, I think. So the problem is that. Hmm. Okay, let's. Um, let's wait. Okay. And then we will... Hmm, wait for... Uh, 10 minutes? Hmm. Not even the carrion eaters are interested in your radiated mm. corpse. The thing I don't understand is why we are dying. Why we are, di why we are dying instantly. Um, so it's so four hours is safe. Half an hour is still safe. Um, well, uh, in any case, we can just read these discs, I suppose. Um, while we are waiting this ten minutes, okay, pip. Well, did it just... Ah, okay. We all had re have this data. Hmm, let's... We have some duplicates. Which is strange. Um, we have some duplicate disks in our inventory. Yeah, at least um, I now know what I know. I now know where these data actually go. FEV experiments disks. Lock date March twenty first, two thousand seventy five. Major Barnett has ordered experiments with batch ten, zero eleven of Pan Immunity Virion, which has been renamed FEV for Forced Evolutionary, Evolutionary Virus. His main concern is with the side effects of the quartilic structure rather than its main effect of repli re replicative stability. He believes the new structure is the next logical step for mammalian nuclei. Experience with single-celled organisms is a great success. While the basal metabolism appears unchanged, the immunity to infection and radiation is exceeding all earlier expectations. Addendum, Chloroplast, chlor, chloroplasts seem unaffected by the virion. Further experiments on plant cells have been cancelled by order of Major Barnett. Lock, dot, lock date May 9th. Uh, we infected several species of flatworm with FEV. Within hours, the worms had increased in size by 28% and 39 separate viral contagions were resisted by the population. Each sample was allowed to continue for several generations and the new DNA structure was successfully passed on to worms progeny, although only a sexual reproduction was noticed in the samples. A very important point here. Um, because as we've already learned, I think, the mutants are in fact all sterile 
Experiments with insects have had less success. Major Barnett has postponed these experiments until further notice. Hmm. Lock date June 13th. Several locks lab strains of white mice have been infected successfully with FEV. Again, an increase in size was noted within hours, and after nine days, all mice, all mice had stabilized at 31% larger than the control group. The section revealed the most increase in size in striated muscle tissue and certain internal organs, such as the liver, heart and kidneys. In a surprising finding, the infected mice were found to run mazes in less than half of the time of the control group. More testing will be needed to confirm this finding as significant. Lock date November 9th. We have infected 218 rabbits with FEV. Half of the subjects were implanted with electrodes to monitor EEG activity before and after the infection. Increased electri electrical activity in the brain was noted in 3.2 seconds, on average, after injection. Again, the typical size increase was noted. However, increased aggression and posturing, especially among males, was noted as well. Sacrifice and perfusion yielded brain tissue that showed increased dendritic connection, especially in the limbic system and frontal cortex. Lock date January 12, 2076. With batch 11011, we've improved the mito mitotic cycle efficiency by 43%. We have infected 53 raccoons with the new strain. In addition to the now expected size increase, behavioral tests confirmed an increase in intelligence and manual dexterity by 19 points on the Schuler Cup Index. Unfortunately, several subjects escaped confinement and had to be hunted down and dispatched. Major Barney, okay, this is apparently misspelled. Major Barnett ordered the remaining subjects terminated. Two pairs were unaccounted for. Hmm. Locked at May. 13th. We have spliced several new gene sequences, supplied by Major Barnett's advisory team, into FEV. With batch 11101A, we infected 23 dogs of pure and mixed breed, and all experienced nearly immediate growth. The larger size was accompanied with increased aggressiveness, while no significant intelligence increase was noted. We plan to attempt crossover of 92 allele pairs with batch 11011. All subjects were terminated after 14 weeks of study. Log date October 4th. The crossover has been completed and 15 chimpanzees were infected with batch 11 100, 111. 111. Growth and immunity levels are unprecedented. Attempts to induce cancers in the subjects were, through radiological and chemical agents were not successful. Increased aggressiveness has le have led to isolating the subjects. Two subjects suffered violent epileptic seizures and died. All remaining subjects terminated. Lock date January 7th, 2077. Major Bond has ordered transfer of all FEV research to the Mariposa military base. He plans to continue the project experiments on volunteer subjects. I am against this and would like it noted here that research on human subjects is not recommended by myself or by my, or my staff. Hmm. Uh, did we read this? No, we didn't actually. Okay. Um, Ancient Brotherhood disc. Captain Maxon was right. This place is death. I'm writing this so that if we don't make it back, someone, someday might find out what happened to us. 
We made it to West Tech Research Facility after 20 days of hell. But that was the easy part. The radiation levels began to shoot up as soon as we could see the giant crater. We checked our supplies and figured with our armor and our anti-red supplies would be fine for at least a day of exploring. We felt it was a calculated risk, but the technology we had the potential of recovering was worth it. We climbed down the crater to the first level and everything seemed to be according to plan. The power was off, so we didn't need to circumvent the security. Or so we thought. There wasn't much of value on this level, so we pushed on. The second level was more of the same. When Jensen dropped to the third level, all hell broke loose. The security sensors had been, has been burned out on the first two levels, but not on the third. Jensen, Jensen was cut to ribbons before he knew what had happened. We'd never seen weapon cut, weapons cut through power armor like that. Men started dropping right and left, and the ones who were still alive lost it. I tried to regroup, but only Soto and Camarillo made it back up here to the first level with me. The fact that I can smell Soto's burning flesh where his arm was taken off means that my power armor is no longer airtight, so I'm sucking up a more, lot more rats than I had planned on. I'm leaking hydraulics at an alarming rate. We need to get far enough, we need to get far enough away from this place before my armor dies. Camarillo seemed fine physically, but he wandered off, wandered off about an hour ago, mumbling something about Gehenna. That bastard has all the anti-red. Anti-red. That leaves Soto and myself. We can't make it far enough away from here without the anti-reds. So I've got to try to find Camarillo before it's too late. Sergeant D. Allen, United States Armed Forces. Alpha Experiments Log. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think we didn't. Uh, this is also new. Okay. Alpha experiments log. Prototype pan immunity variant project. The hopes of countering the current ba bacteriological and viral agents employed the, by the Chinese government. We have manufactured a virus fragment consisting of ribonuclei. That's a hard word to pronounce. Um, ribonucleic acid um, encased in a protein lipid sheath. This variant contains a specially arranged, arranged sequence of irradi irradiated amino acids that are capable of attaching to non specific binding sites on deoxyribonucleic acid. Enforce a non enforce a non replicating mitosis to occur. The resulting host cell is left with a quadruple helix DNA structure. Early tests are promising. The variant easily penetrates the cell membrane and attaches directly to the host DNA on the nuclei. Mitosis of the structure begins almost immediately. Cytokinesis is prevented by controlling the disposition of the kinetochore fibers during anaphase. The entire mitotic cycle lasts approximately two hours, although phenotypical expression of the new structure may take days or, or weeks to become apparent. In addition to an effective immunity to bacterial and viral agents, the quad helix structure is almost entirely immune to errors introduced in base pairing during replication due to multiplicity of the base sequence. Radiation exposed tissue showed no mutation in the base sequence and protein synthesis, synthesis mechanisms in the ribosomes uh, sorry, and protein synthesis mechanisms in the ribosomes were unimpaired. Over 80% of the samples over 80% of the samples of the sample, okay, this is um, apparently misspelled. 
over 80% of the sample tissue contained quad helix DNA. Oh no, sorry, it's, it's, yeah, I guess there was an apostrophe missing. Okay, sorry. Let's read this again. Over 80% of the sample's tissue contained quad helix DNA. Okay, either it's sample tissue or sample, t sample tissue, okay. Um, anyway, okay, most affected was muscle and bone tissue, as well as secretory cells, as these cells seem most receptive to virion. Sensory cells are the least affected. Surprisingly, even normally non-replicating nerve cells and non-somatic cells cell were induced to begin mitosis. Further experiments will be necessary to determine the results on these cells. Uh, delta R. Hmm, interesting. Uh, guess this goes on for some time. Okay, this is just broken. Mm. FEV Research FEV Summary Digest 2073 As China became increasingly aggressive with the use of biological weapons, the United States government felt that the countermeasure was needed. The Pan Immunity Variant Project was officially formed September 13, 2073. 2075 it became clear that the best way to combat the newly created biological weapons was to alter uninfected DNA so that it was no longer susceptible to standard viral infection. 2076 Unforeseen side effects <coughs> Sorry. Unforeseen side effects began s surfacing in early 2076 with the PVP. Animal test subjects began showing an abnormal growth rate accompanied uh, by increased brain activity. The US, US government took notice of these discoveries and in the interest of national security moved a team on site to secure and oversee the project, which was now dubbed the FEV, Forced Evolutionary Virus Project. 2077 FEV nears completion. Tests on lab animals are at a near 100% success rate. Size and muscle, muscle density increases, increase approximately 60% and the potential intelligence increases by 200%. Effects upon human subjects remain unknown, although they are theoretically promising. The military Wishing to continue further testing, builds a large facility at the Mariposa military installation at in Central California. Okay, so apparently we are we are in in fact in Central California, uh, which I think we actually learned earlier when we conversed with the um, computer of this yeah mil military installation. At this new facility. Testing of the forced evolutionary virus continues on volunteer subjects from the military. Uh, there's one more record. Um, <clears throat> I wonder whether I actually uh, missed one um, hollow disk down there, or whether we will, well, find it later somewhere else. Okay. West Tech records. Okay, this was just the list of employees of this facility which we already yeah found earlier um so we have one duplicate disk there um which is kind of strange um anyway we we have still we have a larger problem um other than this disk. Our problem is that um, we are radiated um, and for some reason um, 
we will die of radioactive poisoning instantly. Um, uh, within the next 10 minutes. Um, I was actually hoping that... Um, the time would progress while I read these texts uh, out, which in fact it hasn't. Um, so be because I don't want you to wait for 10 minutes, I will just um, I will in fact end the video right here and when we come back folks I will have figured out um, well I've either figured out that this is a bug and I fixed this bug or I will have figured out that it's not a bug and that I've just maneuvered myself into an unwinnable unwin game state and then I will have replayed this whole section um, probably will have replayed this whole section um, or we'll in fact do this all over again okay anyway so yeah when we come back folks we'll have figured out what what is going on here so until next time folks until then